he's back up and you know he back 100 percent and things like that because as far as i know right now he's fighting for his life but when things like this always occur this shit always happen like back at the crib like rarely it happens when you know you somewhere else you know in somebody else city and shit like that like it's always back at the crib and a lot of people associate that with with hate Sometimes it's hate, sometimes it's old beef, you know, whatever you was doing. Shit, sometimes. What's good, everybody? Glay is better at the vlog life, car vlog, on the way to go pick up the girls. Hope y'all having a good day. Y'all had a good ass day. Y'all week been going trill, know what I'm talking about. Uh, Houston is hot, but it's still going down and everything is going good. Crime Royal, we waiting on you, know what I'm talking about. And these subscribers is growing. My channel officially hit over a million views. I'm over 4,000 subscribers. And I'm over 100 vlogs. Huh, come on, know what I'm talking about. Shit. I'm, I'm on my shit. I'm working my ass off. And hell, I'm more motivated now that I was back then. You know what I'm saying? But say, let me go ahead and get to today's episode. So, man, like, prayers to David Ortiz. Um, big, yeah, uh, big poppy. Like, yeah, I just not come up with saying that shit. Anyway, say, when I was thinking about the David Ortiz shit just in general, man. I think about it like majority of the time when shit always happens and it's always something tragic and you know prayers to david ortiz and hopefully he's back up and you know he's back 100 percent and things like that because as far as i know right now he's fighting for his life but when things like this always occur this shit always happen like back at the crib like rarely it happens when you know you somewhere else you know in somebody else city and shit like that like it's always back at the crib and a lot of people associate that with with hate sometimes it's hate sometimes it's old beef you know whatever you was doing shit sometimes it might be bad karma whatever it is but majority of the time this shit always happened back at the crib so um i really hope that me or no none of my partners or nothing that got shit going on end up you know falling close to a fate or a situation similar like that man because that back at the highs like the home that's supposed to be your comfort zone. Like, that's supposed to be where everybody knows. That's supposed to be where you can kind of let your head down where you're not supposed to be on guard, no go, and shit like that. So it's sad when you got to be on guard, no go at the crib. Like, if, if, if y'all seen the TMZ video, like, Ortiz had his back turned and nigga popped him in his bag and shit. I really commend the people around that whooped his ass and, and held him until police came and stuff like that is in america that probably wouldn't happen like i'm just gonna be for real in a country where you'll be loved and things like that that happens so shout out to you know everybody in the dominican republic or if you're watching this and you're in america and you got family in the dominican republic hey look here shout out to your people and your kin folks kin folk for you know doing some trail ass shit based on their behalf the story again you know the story is that david ortiz or it was a higher hit. The suspect of gunman was given eight thousand dollars. In America, eight grand don't seem like a lot. Depending on where you're from, eight grand in America is a lot. In the Dominican Republic, eight grand is probably equivalent to fifty thousand or better. Real talk. But the drug, the drug kingpin, allegedly, or, or he, or he was believing that David Ortiz was uh, sleeping with his wife thrashing his wife is it true who knows i don't i don't know the situation uh, i can't really just talk on that um but let me give y'all another scenario let's say the dope boy was hitting other hoes on the side it's it's highly likely so let's say he was fucking something on the side and his wife to get back at him she said she was fucking somebody that was more famous than him now you know, him being a, a D-boy and a dope boy, there's probably not too many, like, her telling her husband that, you, hey, you know, I'm fucking so-and-so, and he's not a dope boy. He doesn't have the money equivalent to her husband. Like, he probably ain't going to take that too bad. But if she said she was fucking David Ortiz, 
somebody that's larger than him, more known than him, more money and shit like that, he might feel a type of way. But let's say she, let's say, okay, if she said that, which I don't know, I'm just kind of just thinking in my head. If she said that and she don't know David Ortiz and David Ortiz never really hit this nigga wife, then David Ortiz is fighting for his motherfucking life behind a situation that he wasn't involved in. On the flip side, if he was fucking with his man and wife and shit like that, maybe he might need to move a little better. Like, especially if he a dope boy and shit like that, you just might need to just move a little bit more differently. But based on the situation, it really sounded like he was just chilling to spot doing him. And then, you know, he came and he got popped. So, man, y'all just really be careful when, when y'all back at the crib and shit like that. And make sure y'all got the right company and shit. Because if you moving with niggas and they really ain't the right company and shit like that, like, man, shit can happen. Like, for real. Like, you just don't. Yeah, fool, you really just don't know, you know, how shit can go. How shit can happen, man. So y'all just make sure y'all moving with the with the right people and shit like that. Hey, look here, man. You really just don't have to hit the motherfucking after hour spot in the strip club. Especially if you known and you wearing jewelry and all this shit. And you know, you be all on the gram letting niggas know how you moving and how much money you getting and shit like that. Hey, hey, look here, bro. Strip clubs ain't for you. Like, take your ass to the highs. Like, for real, for real. Like, you probably really shouldn't be staying at a crib or some shit like that. Like, you probably should be staying in a hotel with a lot of cameras and shit like that just in case like yeah man all these after hour spots and and all of these you know keeping it just total gutter like man you can go to the hood but you can just gotta you just gotta do it more uh cautiously and shit like that like you just can't just be moving yeah dog you like hey man look here dog i'm i just don't even know what to say about this shit man fuck Hey, but man, look at man, that's better daddy vlog life, man, baby. Prayers to David Ortiz and shit like that. Yeah, man, this this this, this shit is crazy, and you know, it is, it is hate out there. Like, there are people that just do not like you. Do they have legitimate reasons why they don't like you? Half the time they don't. Half the time, just somebody else just love you that much that it forces them just to hate you that much. And that's the fucking sad part about it is the fact that like you just some people they, they just hate to show love like this is what it is and i just don't get that like showing love don't make you a dick rider you know what i'm saying like being a dick rider makes you a dick rider pause but like showing love don't make you no motherfucking dick rider like man give people their flowers while they're here like we really just got to get past that as humans like i'm not even talking about just my race like humans in general like man Somebody else is winning, man. Shit, a motherfucker's on, and and watch and watch them win. But man, make sure you are working on your shit so you can win too. Because if you're not working on your shit so that you can win, but they working their ass off and they winning, why are you mad at them? You got the same motherfucker 24 hours that they do. Just like I've been doing this shit, and I've been vlogging out here. I was vlog 100, and I, and I mean vlog one, and now I'm over vlog 100 and shit like that. Like hell, man, fuck that. Shit, don't 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 hate on me. Like, I mean, I'm a, I'm a nobody, but shit, don't hate on me. Shit, just because I, you know I'm the one sacrificing sleep and doing this and that. You could be doing the same fucking thing because best believe if you're doing the same thing, then I'm then I'm out here cheering for you and I'm out here telling people to fuck with you. That's just how I'm built. Like, man, fuck that. I need good karma in my life. I need good energy. I don't need none of, none of this whole ass shit. I don't need when a nigga see me out for him feeling some type of way because I ain't do X, Y, and Z. Like, no, uh, uh man. Like, I'm. I'm all about showing love and positivity and all of that shit. Like, man, look here. Like, I got a lot of shit to lose, man. I got, I got a family. I got daughters and shit that need me. That I'm getting this, getting this bag for. Like, nah, they need to see a lot of this bag. So I'm gonna make sure I'm doing what's necessary to keep good calm and good energy in my life, man. Y'all make sure y'all do the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real, dog. But yeah, man. Prayers to David Ortiz and shit like that. Hopefully he get better. And, yeah. KD too, man. You fucked up that goddamn Achilles, man. Shit. Yeah, man. It's tough out here, man. But shit. Y'all get to it. Y'all holla at your boy. Hey, bitter daddy vlog. Like, ace time. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? Ah.